hey everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well so today's video is my seasonal five pieces to add to your wardrobe obviously we are now in autumn autumn mode autumn weather so today i am sharing five pieces to add to your wardrobe for autumn typically in these videos i share five pieces that either are new to my wardrobe or already into my wardrobe but five key pieces that i think as long as you have one of the five all of the five, a few of the five, then you are basically set for autumn. As seasons come and go, we do typically tend to like dabble into different trends and things. So I do have a couple of more trend led pieces in this video, but then I've also got those just like essentials, those fail safes that come by year after year, every autumn you're going to see either this piece or a variation of this type of piece. So that's why I enjoy putting these videos together. It's a nice way for me to be able to share with you some trend led pieces, but also just some essentials basically. Kickstarting things with something new to my wardrobe, but not a new concept. So last year we saw cardigans popping up a lot, knitted cardigans in particular, great as like a layering piece. So coming out of winter time going into springtime cardigans make for a great transitional piece and the same can be said for autumn so from summer moving into autumn a cardigan is a fantastic transitional piece you can wear this open as a traditional cardigan or you can wear it buttoned up as a piece of knitwear in itself so basically wearing a cardigan as a top is really quite trendy at the moment and so it's definitely something that I have seen a lot that I have also been wearing quite frequently as well. I've actually got quite a few cardigans in my collection at the moment. Previously I only had one cardigan but now I've definitely grown my collection quite a bit. This particular one is actually from Georgia Asda so you can pick this up when you're doing your supermarket shop. Pretty epic. And the reason why I wanted to share this particular cardigan with you is because of the buttons. Now, these buttons are like seriously bougie buttons. They're super sparkly. They're super shiny. They're just very over the top, in your face, very extra. But actually, I will be honest, when I first got this, I thought that I didn't really like that about it. I was like, oh, I'm not sure about it. Like, we'll see but it grew on me so rapidly. It just makes, like, it just adds a little something extra. It's just a nice touch, in my opinion. I now have two cardigans with this kind of button situation going on, which I really like. So as I was saying at the start of this video, there are so many timeless trends and timeless classics to add to your wardrobe, like in this instance, a cardigan, but you're offering a bit more of a, like, trend-led or a nod to current trends with these cool buttons. I would actually say even something you could do yourself as a bit of a um, sort of upcycling project. If you have any old cardigans that you don't really get a lot of use out of at the moment, change up the buttons, change them for something extra and sparkly and dazzly like these kind of buttons or change them for some gold buttons. You know, anything you fancy, just change up the buttons to make it a little bit more statement and instantly you've transformed that piece into something more trend-led for this year. And if it comes out of trend, you can do the exact same thing. Remove the buttons for a more simple button. Item number two is an accessory and it's this hat, which actually I shared in my last video, which was my wardrobe switch over when I switched over my spring summer wardrobe into my autumn winter one. So you will have seen this there. It is a new be in my collection but a hat I think is such a good addition to your wardrobe for autumn winter I haven't had actually I lie I had a hat last year but I lost it it was a black one but I um I lost it I left it behind I went away for my birthday and I forgot it at the Airbnb and never got it back. And I got this one from Nasty Girl, actually. It's really nice. It's sort of a camel colour, which I love. The only thing I don't like is this. However, easily removable. I think without it, the hat looks a little bit too bare. Like, it definitely needs some sort of ribbon or something. So I think that's something that I'm going to add myself. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this one, really. I just don't like this bit. It reminds me a little bit too much of, like, cowboy hat. So that's why I think I'm going to replace that. But a hat, whether it be a black hat, if you're more into sort of your monochrome outfits, or a camel neutral colour like this, you'll see from this video that I'm very much into my neutrals for autumn, and I think loads of us do typically gravitate toward neutrals, the browns, the rusts, of those sort of autumnal tones, so this is an essential, and I'm sure I'm going to wear it loads. Item number three is colourful leather. Now, I knew I wanted to include leather, or faux leather, I should say, these are faux leather, but I really wanted to include faux leather in my video just because I think it's such a great 
item for your autumn winter wardrobe just the way you can style it i personally love adding lots of different textures to my autumn winter wardrobe so typically if even if i'm just wearing sort of jeans and a jumper so i've got my denim but then i'll have a fluffy knit or a roll neck or a cable knit you know just trying to experiment a little bit more with the textures and so when you're adding color into that why not i spoke about these in my asos haul that's where i first featured these so these are new to my collection but i just love them i loved this color it's such an unusual kind of rust red color which i absolutely adore they're high waisted they're a straight leg these are just so great i've also got a very similar pair to these from h m but they are the standard black so for that reason i thought it'd be nice to share colorful leather because if you're anything like me then you probably don't opt for color much come autumn winter that is definitely me i tend to stick to my blacks my neutrals just the kind of basic color palette or the neutral color palette so it's nice to have a little addition of color particularly in such a sort of statement piece like faux leather trousers fourth on my list is definitely more trend led so i'm gonna be honest i'm not entirely sure whether this trend is for me or not so i definitely want to hear your feedback let me know what you think of this but i finally picked up one of these kind of even know what you call them like a, a vest maybe a knitted vest from mango i just really liked this i thought it was a nice one in terms of the ones i've seen it also wasn't sold out because these are very popular at the moment and they are just selling out so quickly so i spotted this one on mango and i picked it up and as you can see it's very this reminds me of just boys private schools and like their uniforms i don't know why maybe that's a really weird sort of idea for, to have it might be from films and stuff that when i see this that's just what i think of for some reason it's so strange but it's a quite a deep v-neck a cable knit detailing and obviously sleeveless but it's a nice knitted piece now i think this is good for autumn because it's a great transitional piece basically it's good as a layering piece so underneath you can wear something long sleeve obviously i've seen these styled mostly with shirts underneath like quite a big oversized shirt and then this over the top as more of a layering piece and it just looks so cool so i do actually think it's a piece that can be styled in multiple different ways and i'm definitely going to try and style it up in a few different ways to see how i feel about it so let me know what you think about it and let me know if you think i can pull it off like should i keep or should i return and lastly item number five are knee-high boots i was so sure i featured these last year but i looked back on my video from last year and i definitely didn't so maybe i just wore them a lot or maybe i shared them in a favorite something like that i was just so sure i had mentioned them but i didn't so thought i would mention them this year because i am obsessed with knee-high boots at the moment so rather than being over the knee like we've seen in previous years over the knee boots have been the most popular however this year i think we're definitely moving towards a knee high boot so these literally like cut at your knee and i like that i think it looks really nice admittedly i usually feel like a little bit uncomfortable if i wear anything that's over the knee it just feels a bit too like dressy it feels a bit too extra whereas something that is knee high feels a bit more classic and a bit more trendy maybe that's just me i don't really know let me know what you think but these i got last year they are from steve madden and they are sort of this suede material a dark brown color and i just adore these i wore these so much last year i was so happy with them i have actually ordered a croc print pair from h m which if you watch my h m haul you'll know that they were on my wish list as soon as they came back in stock i bought them instantly waiting for those to arrive now and then i'll see how those do but i have a sneaky suspicion that they might be too big on the calf which will literally be devastating but we'll see we'll see how they get on for now knee high boots amazing you can find loads of them at the moment because like i said they are quite a trend led piece at the moment they are quite on trend so you'll find them quite a bit on the high street a short and sweet video from me today i hope you enjoyed watching let me know which of these five pieces you'll be adding to your wardrobe or even which of these five pieces you already have in your wardrobe for me it's definitely a mix and match some of these pieces are new in some of these pieces are from previous years so i'd love to know what's new in your wardrobe let me know which pieces were your favorite as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you are new and i will see you all very soon with a new video as always a big thank you for watching and i'll see you all soon bye